Hello everyone, welcome to my talk. My name is Hadith Garache, and today I'm going to be talking about in vitro and in vivo studies of the effects of how the monetary consciousness field on different types of viruses. So let's get started. One of the novel theories about consciousness are established by Muhammad Ali Tahir in the 1980s. He introduced novel fields with non-material, non-energetic nature named Tahiri consciousness fields, or in short, T consciousness fields. In this perspective, T consciousness is one of the three existing elements of the universe, apart from matter and energy. In fact, matter and energy are drawn from T consciousness. He also introduced a new science in 2020. He coined the term science fact for this new science. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to use a repeatable lab experiments uh, to prove the existence of T-consciousness as a fact. Before going further, I must mention that as we are in the phase zero of this uh, series of studies regarding the introduction of Tahari consciousness field, uh, we're not going into the details and mechanisms of the consciousness. After this introduction, let's look at the case studies. Uh, for this study, we looked into the virus behavior in two different conditions of in vitro and in vivo under the influence of pharodharmony consciousness field. Pharodharmony is one of the many consciousness fields that are existed in this universe. Uh, in first part, uh, viral replication under the influence of pharodharmony consciousness field for four different viruses were studied. And um, in second part, we're gonna look into the behavior of FMD virus under pharodharmony and see how the immune system is uh, responding against FMDV in rats. So, Let's start with the first study. We all know how viruses impact and threaten humans' life. And despite all prevention efforts, pandemic is increasing. And it seems vital to take innovative or complementary approaches. That being said, firstly, let's uh, learn a little bit about the virus's structure and see which viruses are selected for this study. Viruses are mainly divided into two major groups of enveloped and non-enveloped. There is a protein named capsid uh, that genetic materials, RNA or DNA, are in it. RNA or DNA can be double-stranded or single-stranded, which contribute to diverse characteristics in viruses. In this study, two viruses from each category are selected. Uh, from envelope viruses, uh, we have vesicular stomatitis virus and herpes simplex virus 1, and also encephalomyocarditis virus and real virus from non-enveloped are selected. Uh, all of these viruses contain RNA except for HSV1, uh, which has DNA. Two cell lines of uh, Vero and L929 are selected to get inoculated with these viruses. And pharodharmony was started at the time of virus inoculation up to 72 hours post-infection. Two common uh, assays were used in this study uh, is uh, our TCID 50% assay, which is a common method uh, to verify uh, the viral titration and uh, cytopathic effect, which shows the structural changes in host cells that are infected by virus. Uh, so let's look at the results here. This figure shows two cell lines, Vero left column and L929 right column before virus titration on the first row. The second row is showing cytopathic effect induction in control without pharodharmony treatment. And the last row shows those whole cells which was infected with these viruses under pharodharmony treatment. Clearly, you can see the changes over here. Uh, 
And this is the TCID 50% table showing the changes in viral titers for these viruses. Uh, we observe decrease from 0.4 to 1.85 in large difference for all RNA viruses, and a slight increase of about 0.5 large difference for HSV1, the only DNA virus in this study. So you can see how cells with different characteristics behave differently under the influence of paradharmonic consciousness speed, which is very interesting and promising result. Second part of the study is focusing on FMD virus, one of the highly contagious uh, viral disease which can affect livestock uh, and uh, cause vast financial losses in this industry because of the severe decrease in productivity of animals and high mortality in newborn animals. The current solution for this disease is vaccine. Uh, but as we know, there are some limitations of vaccines. That's why we are looking for uh, innovative methods to beat limitations and increase their efficacy. Also, we were uh, looking uh, for the effects of paradigmony on viruses, not only in in vitro condition, but also in animal model. So for in vitro condition, baby hamster kidney cell line is used to get inoculated by FMDB and to evaluate the virus titration, TCID 50% and real-time PCR assay. Uh, were performed uh, for in vivo condition. Thirty rats were used, uh, were divided into six groups. Vaccine was injected into each rat in several time slots. Both posit positive and negative controls uh, were considered. Two types of alum and front adjuvant vaccine were used, uh, as well as two groups of vaccines, uh, which was simultaneously with paradharmony uh, treatment. So let's look at the results we achieved. This is TCID 50% and real-time uh, PCRSA. Uh, by looking at the TCID 50% result, we can see that the number of viruses was increased uh, 0.53 log difference uh, in the samples under the paradigm treatment compared to the control group. And by looking at the CT values, which evaluates the results of the real-time PCRSA, uh, we can see that the lower CT values uh, shows the higher number of viruses in the samples under the influence of Farad harmony compared to the control. For in vivo conditions, serum neutralization test is performed. And as we can see, and comparing these numbers, uh, we can see that there is there was significant increase in protective antibodies in rats compared to the controls without pharodharmony and also positive and negative control. So to recap, based on what we achieved, pharodharmony showed a significant effect on virus saturation. It also showed the different effects on different types of viruses, as well as different effects on a uh, virus uh, living in different living environments. Another important achievement was that Faradamoni significantly increased protective antibodies in rats. Uh, it also showed the success of immunization and vaccination against the FMDV and the effect of Faradamoni on the immunogenicity of the front adjuvant vaccine was more than other adjuvant vaccine. So all of these results uh, show that the, the, the phase zero of this series of study was fulfilled, which was the proving the existence of uh, Tahiri consciousness fields. As future works, uh, the mechanisms of our structure and function, as well as their interaction with respective host cells under Farad um, have a great potential to work in more detail the role of Farad both prior to entry in living host cells and after entry, as well as the effects of Farad on different types of viruses are planned to get investigated. Uh, for more details about the results and discussion, please check out the Cosmo Intel website to get access to the full text of this study. 
At the end, I'd like to give a special thanks to Muhammad Ali Tahiri, the innovator of theory of T consciousness fields, and also thanks to the group of researchers uh, for their great efforts to show a significant potential of this approach and method. Uh, for any question regarding this study or any interest to collaborate with Cosmo Intel Study Center, feel free to contact uh, Cosmo Intel via email. And thank you so much for your attention.